This morning, a building inspector will be examining a Cranston apartment complex after city officials deemed it uninhabitable. Yeah, the decision forced residents of almost 40 apartments from their homes. It's still not clear when they'll be able to return. Kayla Fish spoke with some of them at the complex yesterday. And Kayla, this didn't come as a surprise to some of them, right? Yeah, that's correct, Danielle. The last 24 hours have certainly been frustrating for the families who call this apartment complex home here in Cranston. And while the issues with the building are now being thrust into the spotlight, the residents that I spoke with said that these are issues that they've been complaining about and dealing with for years. But it was the crumbling of a second floor walkway that brought inspectors from the city here yesterday morning. As a result, the city deemed the building unlivable, telling residents of the 39 apartments to pack up and find somewhere else to go, adding that the city had secured hotel rooms for them if needed. But at an emergency meeting last night, residents voiced their frustration, asking for answers as to what happens from here. People who have lived here for more than a decade tell 12 News they've been sounding the alarm on structural problems here for years. If they would have listened to us, we would not be in this situation. You have all these families now. We're homeless. We are displaced. Because even if they're saying it's safe to go back, no one's going to want to go back now. So where are we, what are we going to do? Now, yellow tape still blocks off all of the units here. Police also at the scene making sure that nobody uh, crosses over to maybe try to get back into their apartment this morning. Now, 12 News has been covering this issue since yesterday morning. We've also been taking a closer look at exactly who owns this apartment complex. So you'll hear more details on that and some reaction from city leaders coming up in about 30 minutes. For now, live in Cranston, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News. Cranston residents were forced from their homes yesterday. This after their apartment building was deemed uninhabitable and the building inspector is expected to be at the property this morning. Kayla Fish is joining us live in Cranston with more on the developing situation and also what we know about the company that owns the building. Kayla? Well, Danielle, this morning there are plenty of unanswered questions for the families who call this apartment complex home. They were told last night to pack up as much as they could and find somewhere else to stay. And among the most pressing questions is when or if they'll be allowed to return. That's because, as you mentioned, the building was deemed uninhabitable by the city yesterday after a second floor walkway collapsed on Monday night. Mayor Ken Hopkins told residents the city had secured 40 rooms at a Providence hotel for them, but advised people to be prepared for what could be an extended stay. A man representing the company that owns the property, HPM Capital Partners, told residents at an emergency meeting last night that they'll do everything they can to help. According to the tax assessor's office, the East Greenwich company who bought the complex bought it in the fall of 2020. Cranston city leaders say while the city did help secure the hotel for residents, it's up to the management company to foot the bill. As a city, um, I believe we're here to, you know, work with the with the property owners. But um, it is ultimately it is the responsibility of the property owner. Now, as we come back live here, you can see the signs and the tape blocking off these apartment buildings, making sure that residents don't come back, at least for now. Police also blocking off the entryway to this building and a police vehicle also blocking the driveway here. Now, the mayor says that the building inspector will be at the scene here first thing this morning to assess the situation and move forward from there. Live in Cranston this morning, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.